Let's talk about the environment. Last month was the hottest November on record ever. Scientists with the Copernicus Climate Change Service say global temperatures were one and a half degrees Fahrenheit warmer last month than the November average in a 30 year reference period. period. And if the trend continues as expected, 2020 will be the warmest year on record. And Bloomberg's Jillian Goodman covers the environment for Bloomberg Green. She's joining us now. Jillian, thank you for being here. And quick question to start off. If 2020 is the hottest year on record, how does this change the way we should be approaching climate change right now? You know, it's an interesting question. I think, if anything, it really brings home how immediate the problem of climate change has to be. I mean, this is a problem, you know, you talked about the 30 year average. This is a problem that's been brewing for a long time. We've been able to see this for miles and miles. Um, and yet it's uh, it's a huge problem. It's something that requires a global solution. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's happening right now. It's no longer abstract. It's, uh, it's very, very much a present tense issue. You're right. I think the reality of the situation has been one of the struggles to get across, at least from my view. But we also had a record Atlantic storm season this year. Now, bringing those two together, I read a meteorologist in our ESG Daily yesterday said that we have entered a new climate. Can you describe to us what this new climate looks like? Well, I think that as we saw with the record-breaking hurricane season that you just mentioned, as well as, you know, things like the California wildfires way back in January, the bushfires in Australia, uh, also less remarked upon, but there was, uh, the, we're in the middle uh, still of a record-breaking fire season in the Amazon again after last year's devastating fires. So I think these are all examples of what we'll see from, uh, you know, I think what this meteorologist was referring to, which is just a lot more volatility. You know, we, we've said in pieces earlier this year that we're not headed for, you know, just a new baseline. There is no new normal. The new normal is lack of normal. Um, sudden storms, more intense storms, more intense droughts, uh, fatal levels of heat. Um, and we're going to see these things not only more frequently around the world, but in less predictable fashion. Um, another thing that has broke records about this hurricane season is that we saw storms intensifying really, really rapidly as they approached the shore, which makes it much harder for people to prepare for them. You know, when you've got a storm that looks like it's going to be pretty slow moving, uh, one day and then less than 24 hours later, you find out that it's going to be a, a you know, a pretty fatal hurricane, um, as happened with Hurricane Laura, there's not much you can do. People can't evacuate at that point. You know, it's too late to do a lot of the things that we would normally regard as sensible preparations. Um, so yeah, so as, as the temperature continues to increase, as the amount of carbon dioxide, excuse me, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere continues to grow, we'll just see more of this volatility. Mm. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.